Shalawan, it's GMS on Let's Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, call the law in Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Akarpadash. Double understood the elder apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, for teaching us this truth. Peace and blessings to the elect out there spreading this word of society and the truth. God, I want to come with a quick testimony, you know, of what happened last um, Saturday uh, after the camp, which was um, July the 28th. <clears throat> As we all know, um, July the 27th was the blood moon, the longest blood moon there has been in, uh, in a long period of time, a couple hundred years. So um, this blood moon passed and then um, what happened was Saturday after the camp, you know, we had our, um, we had our council uh, we had uh, we had to talk about certain things, and during the talking, the basically the, the council was cut off 25 times. Why was it cut off 25 times? Because we saw 25 chariots in total, man. Hey, man, call the law, yim yahuwah shem yahushai. 25 chariots in total. We saw that evening, and. <clears throat> You know, uh, the chariots varied, man. You know, um, some uh, were very bright, big, white orbs. And some were very dim, but they flew so fast. You know, and one of the brothers in the camp is a pilot. And he knows the speed, or he knows how, how, how a plane travels through the sky. And he says, man, those are not planes, man. You know? Light orbs going so fast through the sky man hey and um, you know the funny the funny thing about it was brothers was talking but then brothers was seeing multiple chariots and and you know uh, instead of a brother also looking at the chariot it, they were so many that uh, one of the brothers said hey man have some respect man brothers talking and you know and then other brothers react like man <laughs> do you don't you see there's multiple chariots in the sky but it, it, it continued throughout the whole evening, man. Chariots up till the point, you know, uh, when, it, when, it, when they became seven, <clears throat> I was like, okay, seven chariots. It's a beautiful number, you know. It's probably going to stop now. Then it continued. I was like, damn. It continued. Chariots kept popping up. All of a sudden, 18, 20, 23, 25. You know, and then basically it stopped, and uh, we walked away from the spot, and then the brother Chazak, he said 25. I said, yeah, I, w I thought it was going to stop at 7, and he said, what is 2 plus 5? 7. I was like, hey, man. <laughs> God Allah, I'm Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. So, that was a beautiful evening, man, and spiritual too, because uh, this happened the day after the blood moon. So, <clears throat> what does the scripture say? In uh, Genesis chapter 1, it speaks about the, the, the sun and the moon are for signs. The sun and, uh, sun and the moon are for signs and for the times, to discern the times. Then in Sirach chapter 43, it says the, the moon cometh in, in a season to declare the time and the, and, the, and the signs and the feasts. That's why we know the, sh the Shabbat is according to the moon. Because the month is called after a name. So this event of the blood moon was clearly uh, basically an, um, a point wherein we know like, okay, things is about to go down real soon, man. You know, 25 chariots popping up in one, in one evening, man. For me, I see a lot of chariots, you know, uh, 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 during the month, let me say like, Sometimes, of course, sometimes there goes by a month that I don't see no chariot, but I see I see chariots quite recently. You know, sometimes two in one evening or three, but twenty-five chariots in one night, being together with with the, with the, all the brothers in the camp, man. Hey, that was beautiful, man. That was beautiful. So, and and uh, and after <clears throat> after that happened. You know, your mind starts going, man. You know, you, your mind starts meditating. 
on how to rule and how to act and uh, discerning the times like the scriptures say we need to discern the times man in Sirach chapter uh, 15 Salaki I cannot pull, uh, bring it up right now but uh, look it up man in Sirach chapter 15 uh, verse 1 I mean, 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, it speaks about it, man, that, you know, we got to discern the times and know what time we are living in. And the Most High sets up signs in the heavens to, to basically show us these things, man. Next to that, we got to be watchmen and, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, not be ignorant of the time, man. Because the Most High comes as a thief in the night. This destruction is going to come as a thief in the night, you know. So uh, it's beautiful that the most I showed us this 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 thing, man. <clears throat> it's a great faith booster, and uh, it, uh, for some brothers, it, it's a wake up call, man. It's supposed to be a wake up call. call. It's like a wake up call to 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 show you, like, hey, stop fucking around, man. Stop being lazy. Stop being slothful. You know, stop being having that lean back mentality. You know, start start doing your videos, start pushing the word. Chariots are are doing the work too, man. Satan is doing the work too. You know, what what does Satan is work? Is Satan is work is to is to mess you up, man. I did a video about it yesterday. <clears throat> you know, concerning Ephesians, it's Ephesians chapter five, wherein it says that we gotta walk circumspect because circumspectly because the days are evil. So we got to be uh, on our, uh, you know, on our guard. We got to be aware of the things that are going on around us because the days are evil. Why are the day, uh, why should we be circumspect during the, uh, during the time that the days are evil? Because in the evil times, Satan is going to make his moves, man. Satan is going to make his moves whereby we can get messed up, man. If you're not being spiritual, that's why it speaks about, you know, be be, don't be a fool, but be wise. Why you gotta be wise? Because if you're wise, you know this is the work of Satan. You know this is these times that we are living in right now are evil times. So beware of the times, man. Beware of the of the of the times that we are living in. And the chariots is 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 is, is, uh, is working too. The angels is working too because they are they are basically basically doing uh, military drills, man. If you look at these chariots, you gotta understand, like, damn, these chariots is flying in a quick pace. Then they have different formations, you know. They, they, um, oh, there was also this one chariot um, that popped up, and uh, what happened was um, it was very, very bright. When I looked at it, it was very, very bright. But this was one of the one of the one of the first, I think maybe the third or the fourth. It was very bright. It was a big ass orb, very bright. But then, as soon as I started yelling like, "Hey, hey, hey! Look, look, look! Cherry, cherry!" That's, and I kept on looking at it, you know. As soon as I as I started yelling, the cherry it dimmed, you know. So cherry has got all kinds of ways to um, get brighter or get dim, and, and, and things like that, you know. So hey, the, the chariots is, is doing that thing too. So we gotta do our thing too, man. You know, because we are fellow servants of the of the angels, man. We are fellow servants of the angels. We are fellow servants of of of, of the men that are preparing, you know, the the the, the battle moves, the, the the war tactics that um that are gonna be used when Esau is gonna come against the Arab Hashem man. So spiritually, we gotta be prepared too. Scripturally, spiritually, and then the Most High will manifest it eventually, physically, man. The Most High will eventually manifest it physically by giving us spiritual power, by giving us, uh, by giving us um, spiritual bodies. You know. So, hey, man, it will be beautiful if, if brothers brought out or are going to bring out multiple testimonies 
you know about the chariots the angels you know that I recently saw you know after this blood moon and that will be beautiful man so hey shallow on to the Akiyam <clears throat> stay strong like I always call Elohim Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.